The Yates Spec Pack is designed for use as a Type 3 full body harness per the requirements set forth by ANSI, the American National Standards Institute, and OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. The standards for fall arrest systems and should only be used by fully trained emergency responder professionals. Never attempt to use this equipment without proper training. You could be killed or seriously injured if you do not adhere to all warnings and should refer to the Yates Spec Pack user manual for complete details. No manufacturer can predict every potential hazard that exists with the use of any particular equipment. Yates Gear is not responsible for the misuse of this equipment or the negligence of the end user. Training from competent, qualified instructors proven to be knowledgeable in its use is required prior to implementation of this product. Always adhere to your department protocols for this type of technical rescue training and operation. Local protocols override any information presented here. Hello, I'm John Rigolo with Spec Rescue International. In this Yates Spec Pack instructional video, I'm going to cover component identification, step-by-step -step patient packaging techniques, rigging for vertical rescue, confined space rescue, and I will go over how to clean and maintain your Yates Spec Pack. In this section, we will cover all of the items used in the Yates Spec Pack patient immobilization device. This patient packaging and extrication system weighs just 15 pounds and combines the backboard immobilization of a shortboard with the suspension and support of a full body harness. Starting at the top, here is an explanation of each component. The Yates Spec Pack comes in an orange bag which contains all components needed to extricate and move a patient. The vertical lifting ring. This ring is used as one of the attachment points when lifting a patient. Lifting a patient should only be accomplished when incorporating the Yates Spec Pack lifting bridle system. Drag handles. There are five drag handles on the unit located at the top, shoulders, and mid-sternum. These handles are used when dragging a patient on a flat surface or extricating a victim from a confined space. The drag handles are not to be used for a lifting operation. Velcro head strap. There are two types of head and chin straps. The red velvet head straps or the Yates Spec Pack vinyl coated head straps, which are now included with the Spec Pack. Removable pillows. The pillows will fill in the space behind the patient's head. Sliding head block. This sliding component will allow you to adjust the position of the head immobilization device. Integrated polyethylene board. This allows the rescuer the ability to drag the victim on a flat surface. Shoulder straps. The shoulder straps can be used in a cross fashion. Horizontal lifting D-rings are used in conjunction with the Yates Spec Pack lifting bridle. Adjustable leg straps. There are four other important components you need to know about with the Spec Pack. The X-collar cervical immobilization device, the handcuff system, and the lifting bridles that are used with the device. Before we get started on how to utilize the Yates Spec Pack for packaging a patient, there's some critical information that you need to know for a successful operation. Extremely bulky clothing, like bunker pants and jackets, should be removed from the victim, if possible, before securing them in the Spec Pack for the vertical lifting phase of an operation. The maximum capacity of the Yates Spec Pack is 400 pounds. If the patient has an existing full body harness, remove it if possible before securing them in the Yates spec pack for the vertical lifting phase of an operation. The standard lifting bridle is included with the Yates spec pack. The spreader bar lifting bridle system is an optional upgrade. The spec pack will not function in all lifting modes without using the lifting bridle. Ensure that the leg straps are the first portion of the spec pack to be tightened and secured. They should be tightened very secure. Also, ensure that the chest cross straps are not overly tightened to the point that the patient or victim's breathing is compromised. 
The standard or spreader bar lifting bridle should be used for all lifting operations whenever possible. If the lifting bridle is not utilized and the patient is lifted by the upper D-ring only, the time the patient or victim is suspended in the spec pack should be limited to a maximum of 7 minutes. When the patient hang time exceeds 7 minutes, you must either use the standard or wind turbine spreader bar system. Keep in mind that the spreader bar system is more comfortable for the patient during an extended transfer time. The Yates Spec Pack Spreader Bar is designed for the horizontal transfer of a patient. The spreader bar is connected to the chest D-rings and allows for horizontal, semi-sitting, and semi-vertical positioning of the patient. This system is required when a longer than 7 minute suspension time is anticipated, thus reducing the chances of developing suspension syndrome. If you have any suspicion of a spinal or cervical type injury, follow your local EMS protocols for the application of a cervical collar. For this training video, we will not be using a cervical device. As a quick reminder, to apply the Yates Spec Pack is to remember the acronym WLCH for waist, legs, chest, head. Roll the patient onto the Spec Pack in the same manner as you would a long spine board, with the top of the patient's head located at the top of the Spec Pack. Secure the patient to the Spec Pack, fastening the red waist strap around the patient. It should be snug, but not restricting. You should have a two finger space between the belt and the patient. Next, secure the leg strap, each attached to the same side. Secure the chest straps in this fashion across the patient's chest. These straps should also be snug. Tightening these straps too tight will restrict the patient's ability to breathe. A two finger check of these straps is also in order. The pillows located in the floating head strap, are designed to keep the head in a neutral alignment. These pillows can be added or removed as needed to achieve good positioning by pulling the Velcro straps through the grommets located on each side. The head is secured to the spec pack by securing a chin and forehead strap across the patient and attaching them to the outside of the head piece. If the spec pack is used in a vertical lift, do not use the lower chin strap. The handcuffs can be applied by placing the patient's wrist through the loop, attaching the snap clips, and snugging the straps. The patient is now properly packaged in the Yates Spec Pack and is ready for removal. Now let's talk about utilizing the Yates Spec Pack lifting bridle. There are two types of lifting bridles, the Yates Spec Pack standard lifting bridle and the wind turbine lifting bridle with spreader bar. There is also a military version of the Yates Spec Pack lifting bridle. Designed for vertical rescue, it is important to use the correct component while hoisting the patient. Do not mistake the top carrying grip for the lifting ring. When lifting a patient by the top lifting D ring or using the lifting bridle in a vertical position, secure the patient's head to the sliding head restraint portion of the Spec Pack with one of the straps around his forehead. Use of the chin strap, unless C-spine protocol is dictated, is not necessary as a standard operating procedure. As mentioned previously, it is recommended that the spec pack lifting bridle and spreader bar be used for all lifting operations whenever possible. The lifting bridle allows for horizontal, semi-sitting, and semi-vertical, 75 degree, positioning. This system is required when a longer than seven minute suspension time is anticipated, thus reducing the chances of developing suspension syndrome. The bridle can be adjusted to a steeper angle if the patient is to be extricated through a narrow opening. The spec pack can also be used in conjunction with a litter basket. After placing the patient in the spec pack, place the center of the leg support sling under the knee area. Be sure to keep the red foot loop straps on top of the patient's legs. Secure the fast tech buckle of the leg support sling to secure the legs. Attach the yellow adjustable leg support strap 
to the O-ring of the standard lifting bridle. Now pull the slack out of the running side of the strap. Place the patient's feet in the red foot loop system. Adjust the red foot loop straps by pulling on the running side. Now adjust the yellow leg strap to achieve the desired ride position. First, remove the two screws from the back of the skid plate. Next, undo the four snaps at the top of the unit. The headpiece tucks away under the backboard covering. At the bottom of the unit is an opening secured by Velcro. Open this compartment and remove the backboard and headpiece. Only wash the Yates spec pack in a front load extractor type washing machine, similar to the ones utilized by fire departments to clean turnout gear. After cleaning, air dry the unit by hanging in a dry, clean environment.